Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video. Next match, Cross Banlist Cup. So, last match here. And then it's on to the top 16. One match, Black Wings Full Force from back in the day. Versus, uh, yeah, with Dark Strike Fighter pre Errata Is paired up against Infernoids from 2015. So, one of the more recent decks here in the uh, Cup. Um, both decks currently sitting at 3 points. So, it's sure that the deck that wins this match will, uh, yeah, will be placed 2nd place here in the group. And definitely move on to the top 16 cut but let's not waste any more time let's hop in into the first game all right first tool and i think i get to start i'm playing with black wings my opponent is playing with infernoids uh, my opening hand is okay i don't have to fear heavy storm and opening with whirlwind is always fine as a black wing player two searches i can make either um surgical loot uh, which is uh, yeah the search at least uh, the play i make or search uh, blizzard black wing blizzard but again the infernoids all have that dd crow effect and it's not really too great uh, at least yeah blizzard isn't really too great against infernoids and uh, um so Solemn Judgments is, is at 3 here in the Black Wing deck and it's a crucial card against the opponent especially for reasoning well in general uh, Solemn Judgment isn't really too great against Inferno and so you know they can special summon that uh, level 4 that can pop back rows so Judgment is only great against a card like reasoning but he sniped my uh, Solemn Judgment with uh, the Galaxy Cyclone and then he reveals a reasoning so that kind of blows and then he reveals another reasoning and then we know the, especially if you're playing against Inferno it's the game is over and here again he fletches the first turn re reasoning so I have to uh, judgment that then he reveals a monster gate so I think I have to judgment that since again judgment isn't really too great against the Inferno it's um, I think yeah it, it's it's at least yeah it's okay against the deck but I think it's just better to negate their uh, huge potential mill cards like reasoning and uh, monster gate and Okay, he tries to attack with his monster into Shuda, and uh, um, he could definitely expect the Kalut. The reason why I didn't end phase the Icarus, at, at least, yeah, didn't end phase uh, Icarus attack here is because I want to wait my next draw. Maybe I'm able to go for a game and uh, keep my two monsters on the field, but. Um, yeah, because we know, I believe the only back row that he plays is Torrential Tribute. Or at least that Inferno deck is playing is Torrential Tribute. So that's something I still kept in mind and uh, not make any reckless plays. And here it, it top decks into a useless uh, Inferno monster and now I can just attack for the game. So 1-1. One, one. But again, like always, now the opponent gets a start and it immediately reveals Charge of the Light Brigade. Okay, 3 mills, hopefully not too great. Mills with his Raiden and then he reveals a Monster Gate again. The one of Monster Gate, not really sure how many Infernoid monsters he has in his grave. He sends the uh, Nunku, I believe the name is, the guy that uh, destroys all monsters on the field and also negates spells and traps. So, no first turn whirlwind, not too crucial. Uh, he normally summons Lila, which we knew he had, so I'm forced to use Bottomless Trapple on the Lila. But uh, I believe I have two um, Icarus attack sets, so there was no reason to make a synchro, and then he reveals and again, <laughs> again another reasoning. And there is a Lilith, I believe the name is, yeah, that the, the, the Harpy's Feather does there for the opponent. And now he's able to end his field with uh, two high-level infinite monsters. One of them negating monster effects, I believe. Yeah, indeed. So, uh, yeah, reveal the Shura and I'm just going to scoop it up. Yeah, it, I believe, yeah, Infernoids deserved uh, the win here. Then again, the deck is heavily, heavily reliant on uh, the reasoning and he was able to get to reasoning three games in a row but uh yeah that's a game that's a lovely game of Yu-Gi-Oh. so guys that's it um top 16 will come out soon a yeah a video will be uploaded very soon about the pairings which deck will face which deck here in the top 16 cut for the cross bandlist cup 2016 uh, guys that's it thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video leave them signing out peace